Pokemon Go player catching more than a Pikachu. The gamer helping Trenton police nab a drunk driver. 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig joins us live with how her quick thinking may have saved some lives, Kim. It sure did. It was 2.40 in the afternoon when Trenton police got a call from a woman who was playing Pikachu. Pokemon Go in a local park. That's when virtual play came to a screeching halt. Hi, um, there's a publicly intoxicated man in Elizabeth Park. I'm actually following him now on his motorcycle. Melissa Pruitt is the Pokemon Go player who helped police stop 60-year-old Kim Hildebrandt, who was accused of driving as Harley drunk, blowing a .258. That's more than three times the legal limit. Pruitt spotted him during her lunch break while playing the latest virtual reality craze. To be completely honest with you, it's because that Pokemon Go game came out and I wanted to kind of test it out. And that's when she spotted Hildebrandt passed out on a park bench here at Elizabeth Park. She asked if he was okay and that's when he hit the ground. Yeah, he literally face planted off the bench and he was out. Okay. So I know he can't be holding up the motorcycle very well. That's right. Hildebrandt hopped on his Harley, but Pruitt wasn't about to let him just ride off without calling for help. I went back to my car and uh, called 911, and that's when he kind of stood up and grabbed a liquor bottle and disposed of it. He hopped on a motorcycle, and that's when I was like, I have, you know, it's got to happen now. He's on his motorcycle about to leave Elizabeth Park and he is drunk and now I'm concerned about him driving. And he actually just drove in the wrong lane. Yeah. Yeah, he was just coming on to oncoming traffic. And within minutes, Trenton police were behind Hildebrandt and his Harley. I mean, I'm a big believer in God. I'm a Christian, and I believe that God works in mysterious ways. I was obviously meant to be there at that moment. Um, as soon as they had him in cuffs, I knew that, you know, I was kind of like peace at my heart that it was the right thing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, ma'am. Thank you. And for one of several field sobriety tests, police asked Hildebrand to recite the alphabet from C to S. We're told he started at A and ended at V. He then restarted at A and ended at D. Carolyn suffice to say he failed. Reporting live in Trenton, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Kim.